What is up Cobra Kai fans, welcome back to the channel. The season 5 trailer gave us a lot to look forward to to say the least, but no one was featured more in the teaser than Terry Silver himself. He is back in business being the sole owner of the Cobra Kai franchise, and we're gonna learn what would have happened if Daniel would have lost to Mike Barnes in the Karate Kid 3 right here in season 5. Now we all knew Terry Silver had very specific plans for expanding the dojos, but after watching the teaser I think I may have figured out what those exact plans are. On the map we see what Terry Silver is using to mark where he's going to be having Cobra Kai dojos located, and we can clearly see that there's going to be 9 in total. But it's also super important to notice that there's also 6 other spots that are marked on the map that are not going to be where Silver's dojos are going to be located. And when you take a little closer of a look you'll notice that the dojo locations that Silver is choosing look to be carefully selected to be opened right around each of those areas. The valley specifically is the first area that Silver is focused on, so why does he need so many locations in such specific places on the map? And to be honest, it's actually quite simple. Yes, that's right, four of the locations that Silver is opening up schools around are in fact LaRusso Auto locations. Because if you remember all the way back in Season 1 during Daniel's LaRusso Auto commercial, Daniel specifically mentions that they have four dealership locations located in Woodland Hills, Tarzana, Sherman Oaks, and North Hollywood. Any of our locations in Tarzana, Woodland Hills, North Hollywood, or Sherman Oaks. And as always, every customer leaves with their very own phone sign. And we all know Silver, he's going to want to make sure that Daniel is completely surrounded and always has to deal with that constant reminder of his loss and how he let everyone down. And it also gives Silver the opportunity to keep an eye on old Danny boy to make sure that he doesn't play with fire. And as you can clearly see on the map already, four of the locations that aren't that aren't going to be Cobra Kai dojos are located in those exact locations of Daniel's dealerships. You see North Hollywood, there's a location right above there, Sherman Oaks, there's one right above there. The Woodland Location Hills is a little bit higher up than the sign, and the Tarzana location is going to be just a little diagonal to the Woodland Hills sign. But that still leaves us with two locations unaccounted for that Silver's looking to build around. But I really think that the location in Reseda is most definitely West Valley High School. Because if you look on the map, it shows that the location is right around the Reseda area, and if you remember back in the Karate Kid 1, Daniel also lived in Reseda, and he was able to get to the high school just by a short bike ride. So the two locations that are going to be around the school are most definitely going to be for convenience for the students to get there to right after school. One of these locations I think is going to be the main headquarters that Silver specifically teaches at and is the more advanced class for students like Kyler, Kenny, Tori, students like that. And while the other Cobra Kai location that's going to be near the school will be a more introductory level class for the newer students who are interested. And the best part for them is that they'll have very easy access to it once the school day concludes. But that's not the only reason that Silver put Cobra Kai dojos right around the school. This also puts the pressure on the high school students like Hawk, Dimitri, Sam, and all the other ex-Eagle Fang and Miyagi-Do students because not only do they have to deal with the Cobra Kai students at school every day, they'll also be surrounded by the actual dojos every time they get out of school and every day they arrive at school. Just like with surrounding Daniel's dealerships with Cobra Kai dojos, it's going to serve as a constant reminder of their loss and that they can't learn karate anymore. Now the last location on the map was a tough one for me to try and figure out, but I think I got it. I think it's going to be the LaRusso Mansion. I know it may be a stretch, but we all know that the LaRussos live in Encino, specifically Encino Hills, and when you look at the location on the map, it's not too far from that to be honest so I think Silver is even gonna want Daniel to be reminded when he's in the comfort of his own home that Cobra Kai reigns supreme and Silver is always watching him to make sure he feels pain and isn't up to no good so to recap real quick we've got nine brand new Cobra Kai dojo locations set up and ready to go with at least two of the nine dojo locations surrounding each of the four LaRusso auto dealerships as well as two Cobra Kai dojos surrounding the West Valley High School and at least one lurking near Daniel LaRusso's house Terry isn't messing around this season. Season 4 was just a small sample size of what's to come. Daniel may have chosen, but Silver's got the entire valley in the palm of his hands. That's going to be it for today guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you always want to stay updated on Cobra Kai and Karate Kid's latest news and theories. We've got plenty more to cover in the coming days that you're not going to want to miss. Thank you all so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one.